Hey everyone, uh, I'm Roger Veer, uh, the founder of Bitcoin.com. It's been a while since I made uh, any sort of video on the topics of uh, economics or much of anything for a while, so sorry for having taken a little bit of a break there. But uh, this morning I was motivated uh, by this reply to my tweet from yesterday. So you can see in my tweet there, we have the Bitcoin billboard that I paid to put up uh, in 2012 promoting Bitcoin as the honey badger of money, right? Of money for payments, because I was that. My business, MemoryDealers.com, was the first business, uh, established business of any size, really, uh, to start accepting Bitcoin for payments way back in 2011. And then there's this reply of this guy, uh, Vijay Boyapati, and I, I'm sure I butchered his probably first and last name there. Um, but this guy's just been really toxic to me uh, over the last couple of years on Twitter. And I, he claims to be an Austrian a fan of Austrian economics. I'm pretty sure this is the same guy that's even been on the Tom Woods show before to talk about uh, Bitcoin and whatnot. And this guy just has absolutely no clue what he's talking about. So his reply to my tweet says, it's a pity you don't understand the economics of money, that the store of value case must come first and convince so many people to lose their savings in Vcash. It's this guy VJ that has no clue. Uh, he doesn't understand the economics. So I have up in a couple of tabs here. Um, here, we'll start off with uh, uh, Murray Rothbard, my favorite economist of all time, uh, from his uh, book, What Has Government Done to Our Money? And so here's a quote directly from Rothbard himself on this uh, topic. He says, many textbooks say that uh, money has several functions, uh, a medium of exchange, unit of account, or measure uh, of values, or a store value, right? We all hear the maxis talking about store value all the time. He goes, but it should be clear that all of these functions are simply calories of the one great function, the medium of exchange, right? So what Rothbard there is saying is that the way anything becomes a store of value there, uh, or any, for any money becomes a store of value is because it's used as a medium of exchange, right? So he says, he goes on to say, because gold is a general medium, it is most marketable. It can be stored to serve as a medium in the future as well as the present, and all prices are expressed in these items. Right? So he's saying that that's why gold can be used as a store of values because it's a medium of exchange, a general medium there, right? And he goes, because gold is a commodity medium for, ex for all exchanges, it can serve as a unit of account for present and expected future prices. It is important to realize that money cannot be an abstract unit of account or claim, except in so far as it serves as a medium of exchange. So there he is saying very, very clearly that money's usefulness as a store of value or a unit of account comes from its usefulness as a medium of exchange. And that's so very, very clear, both in you know economic theory here from Rothbard, and then I saw it firsthand uh, in my experience in prison, where people naturally started using things as uh, money. And the things that they used as money, as their general medium of exchange, were also the ones that wound up being used as a store of value. And they all had to have some secondary use case uh, out there as well. So the biggest or most common example was tobacco. People could smoke tobacco and so they started using tobacco as a medium of exchange, right? They'd trade, I'll give you some tobacco if you, you know, do my laundry or cook me some whatever, or, you know, all sorts of different things, right? Uh, and then because the tobacco, you could smoke it, and because it was this medium of exchange, people started using that as a store of value, and people would accumulate way more tobacco than they're ever going to smoke or use directly themselves. And so very, very clearly, the things wound up becoming a store of value because they were being used as a medium of exchange. So both in the economic theory from Rothbard and uh, the real-world empirical evidence from uh, you know, prison economies there as well, where things naturally start being used as money. And then here we have a quote from the great Karl Menger, um, basically one of the founders of the Aust whole Austrian school of economics. And Menger says, It appears to me certain that the functions of money, being a measure of value or a store of value, must not be attributed to money as such, since these functions are of merely accidental nature and are not an essential part of the concept of money, right? So there he is saying that, that money doesn't become a store of value first. It's because people are using it as a medium of exchange that it becomes a store of value. And then here we also have uh, Ludwig von Mises, right? One of the greatest economists ever also, uh, a man who I've read, you know, every single one of his books from cover to cover as a young man there. And here we have Mises saying from his general theory of money and credit, uh, the functions of money as a transmitter of value through time and space, aka a store of value, may also be directly traced back to its function as a medium of exchange. So there it is. So here we have Rothbard, Mises, and Minger all saying the exact opposite of what this guy VJ is saying here on Twitter. And to me, it seems strange, right? He has 324 likes, these 324 misguided people. 
a civil attack? Like, I, I, I don't know. Um, but I hope, you know, at least some of these people will see this video and figure out that something doesn't become used as a store of value first and then a medium of exchange later. It's the exact reverse of that. It's because something's usable as a medium of exchange, because it has some other use case there as well, uh, that it then becomes usable as a store of value. So VJ, uh, I think you have it exactly backwards. Uh, I invite you to go and pick up Mises, Rothbard, Minger, any of these guys, and you'll see that something winds up being usable as a store of value because it has some other additional use case. Uh, in the case of money, it's the fact that it's able to be used as a medium of exchange that then enables it to be used as a store of value. So take the US dollar, for example. So many people all over the world are using it as a store of value because it's usable as a medium of exchange. You can spend your dollars anywhere, and it's because you can spend your dollars anywhere that people want to use the dollar as a store of value. Uh, and it's the same was true of Bitcoin in the early days. People were using Bitcoin as a medium of exchange to buy and sell mainly drugs on the dark net, and then people saw, oh, if they can use it for that form of money as a medium of exchange, they're gonna use it as a medium of exchange for other forms of commerce. I'm gonna start storing my value in it because it was usable as a medium of exchange. And so that's why I'm so bullish on Bitcoin Cash today, uh, because it's usable as a medium of exchange. And today, Bitcoin, you have to pay $10 to send $10. That's not a good medium of exchange. If it's not a good medium of exchange, it's not a good uh, store of value there too. And at some point, people are gonna figure it out. And we just saw you know, Kim.com on Twitter a couple of days ago, saying he's gonna build his new project there, uh, K.im. Uh, and this is the guy that built one of the most popular, I think maybe the most popular file uh, sharing websites ever. He said he's gonna be uh, primarily using Bitcoin Cash for the payments on his website uh, because he, he couldn't use Bitcoin even if he wanted to because it's, uh, its ability to be used as a medium of exchange has been incredibly damaged by this stupid one megabyte block size limit uh, with plus a little bit of extra room thanks to segregated witness there. So anyhow, I invite people, pick up Rothbard, pick up Mises, pick up Minger and read these uh, primary texts and you'll have a better understanding of uh, what money is and how something comes to be used as both a medium of exchange and a store of value. So I hope you guys find this video uh, useful. Uh, I'll try and make more in the future here. Uh, see you guys all the next time. Hey, my name is Will. I'm the owner of PC Solutions here in Bakersfield. And this year, I thought it'd be great to give my customers a little gift. And their Christmas cards, Bitcoin Cash. I wanna teach them how to use it and hopefully I can get them on board to where they can pay me in Bitcoin Cash. Perfect. curious is if any of my customers will actually claim this stuff. I really hope they do and I'll keep you guys updated on Reddit.